Welcome to Rant Therapy. Because sometimes you just need to get it off your chest so you can move on with your life. It's a podcast short powered by the co-hosts of the Happy Eating Podcast. Carolyn, it's been a little while since we've done a rant. Yeah. But you are a little fired up about this one topic. So can you tell us what are you so over? I actually came in today with about three I was fired up about, but this one is really just irks me. And it's Facebook moms oversharing to just pump themselves up. Yeah. Even though it's it's like subtle bragging, which it, you can't say it's bragging, but it, it is. It's just for them. Yeah. You know, you shared an example and I was kind of like, oh, okay, I can see that. And then when it really became about like just Facebook moms oversharing, I was like, oh, yeah, I can get on board with that for sure. So where this stemmed from, what made me first leave you a message and be like, I think I've got a good rant is I woke up one morning and let me just say this has nothing to do with my children or anything. These are people my children are not friends with, kind of like one of those acquaintances on Facebook. But I woke up one morning and there were all these birthday pictures 15th birthday pictures that a mom had posted of her daughter's party. There were about 20 girls in the picture. And she posted all these pictures, the huge group. Then she posted a picture of her daughter with each of the girls individually posted all those pictures. Okay, so that's like 21 pictures right Mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all I could think was, oh, my gosh, when I looked at it, I was like, Someone is waking, I don't know who it is, but someone is waking up really with their feelings really hurt. Like who didn't know that this party was happening or who didn't know that that many people were invited and hers wasn't. But I thought, why? Why do you put, you know, like you're just putting that out there to make yourself look good. When in reality, does that, I mean, just post a picture of your daughter with the birthday cake, you know? Yeah. Is that just me? Or I I don't, and it happened again a few weeks later. Now, again, they're not people that my kids are friends with or even go to school with. It just really irked me. And I thought, you are clueless. And I thought, no, you're not clueless. You know what you're doing. Probably not malicious. I don't know. I'd like to give, no, but I'd like to give the mom the benefit of the doubt and be like, it wasn't malicious, but it was more about mom bragging rights. Yeah. And I've had times where like I've, I've done something like that, you know, where I've been really proud of myself for the kind of birthday party that I posted. But let me tell you, I did not post 21 plus pictures. Well, I we're talking about like an Instagram story that disappears in 24 hours with like a couple pictures. I think the problem, part of the problem, maybe I knew the mom very distantly in high school. Mm. And so you have a little bit more doing it a little maliciously. Yeah. See, I what I really gets me is when I keep getting these Facebook notifications from people that I know, but they're not friends. They're just acquaintances. And it is, I mean, excessive oversharing about their children. Yes. And initially it comes across as like sweet and like loving and oh, I love to get couch it like the that. inside story on their kids. But then when it is like every other day I get a notification, I'm like, okay, this has gotten to a point where like if you're not posting on social media, like it feels like you're doing it so that you get like the community validation of your goodness. Yes, and how well you're parenting. Yes. And yeah. I'm like – at this point, it's it's become like watching like a car crash. Like I can't not look, but I also am looking and I'm like, I mean, are you happy inside at home? Yeah. The people who post the most frequently, I'm like, what, what's really going? It makes me actually question like, okay, like you're, something's going on. Yeah. What, what is not fulfilling you? What is going on? Because, yeah, yeah I it, agree. So... I'm with you. Now, I appreciate the fact that people share on social media because it gives me something to scroll and look at, for sure. True. And I like to keep up with some people, especially who live, like, in our community where I don't see them very often. But then when I run into them, uh, I can be like, oh, my gosh, like, I can't believe, like, your daughter is now in kindergarten. Yes. Because you posted a picture of her in first day of school or whatever. But I'm with you. The oversharing... 
of Facebook moms is just be cognizant. I, I think that's the thing. I think most of these women are, and they're still doing it. That's what bugs. That's what irks me. That's my rant. Do you feel any better? Maybe a little. Yeah. Okay. So I'll see the next birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for today's rant. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed by the hosts of this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints of anyone anywhere else. This is meant for entertainment purposes only.